How's it going guys? I decided to make this week a hair tutorial because it has been highly requested by a lot of people and hair can be something very intimidating to make but I would not say it's it's hard or difficult but it does take time so I'm just going to show you a few of the things I make to, to, to do draw hair uh, I already recorded this video so I'm going to try to record this audio in just one take so let's see how this goes I'm going to hit play right now as you can see I gather a lot of references first I have an idea of um, the hairstyle I wanted to draw for this tutorial so I just downloaded references based on that I'm making a new layer now for the sketch it's a good idea to sketch the drawing first because it's a quick way of finding out if the hair shape works or, or it doesn't. If you sketch a hair and it doesn't work, you can go back and you can lose um, 5 minutes at, at least. Um, this is actually the second take I made of this video. The first hair I did, I, I really didn't like. It was a long hair that I wasn't really feeling. So I started again and I decided to draw this hair shape. Um, what you have to keep in mind here basically is just, just make a nice shape or, or a nice volume. You don't have to worry about the individual hairs yet. You just have to make uh, a nice shape. You can see the ears here, but even though you will not be able to see the, the ears at the end of the drawing, it's nice to draw them first because it gives you a volume. So if you can see the hair is kind of bending around the ears. So that's a nice way of, of keeping a nice mass, a nice volume. Okay, now that the sketch is over, I'm going to make the, the hair uh, solids, the hair blocks. So I make one layer on top of every other layer and I do a new layer beneath all the other layers. The reason for that is because, you know, some part of the hair is just on top and the other part is on the back of the neck, on the back of the face. So first I'm just going to concentrate on doing the, the top part of the hair. I'm showing you this brush actually because this is the default brush Photoshop has and I don't, I don't like this brush because it's too clean for me. I like to use this kind of brush because it's kind of rough on the edges and it gives it a, a more organic feel so that's why I love this brush that's why I use this brush for the hair here I'm just throwing some some traces and I went to the sketch layer and lowered the opacity because it's, it's just easier to different differentiate uh, <laughs> the sketch from the from the solid hair so right now I'm just concentrating on, on making one big shape of, of one color, of, of black color. So this is the basic top shape, I'm, ju I'm just filling, filling it out. Okay, so I go to the layer below all the layers and I start, I start drawing the, the same, just a basic solid shape of black. I'm speeding up, of course, <laughs> the video on, on these parts because this took about an hour and a half to make this this hair so this is just to make it a little quick 
Okay, I have the shapes and I went back to the top part of the hair because I wanted to have some hair on the shoulders and on the neck. Cool. So I make a new layer and this layer will have the actual individual hairs I was talking about. And very, very important, I like to use this brush for the hair on 32% of opacity. The hair will look very, very soft and you can draw over and over on top of your traces and they will look darker and darker. The hairs will not be just black, but they will have like a nice gradient. That's why I use the, the opacity on, on the individual hairs. Here is just, just try to make it the more appealing you can. It's really appealing when, when the hairs are going out of the basic hair shape. And it's also really appealing when when the hairs go a little bit on, on top of the face. You know, there's a hair there on the forehead, there's uh, two hairs there on the cheek. Personally, I think that looks really, really cute on these drawings and it makes it look a little bit more organic because, you know, hair, hair is not just a solid shape hair is a loose thing it's 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 organic so it should be organic also on the drawing okay right now i'm making a layer for the highlights we're just going to add some light to this basic black shape we got already Right now, I don't know if the video will show it very well because it's very subtle, but I'm paint painting a light shade of red on the places I know the light will be hitting. And on top of that, I added some blue subtle highlight over there. And I'm using a very soft brush just because I'm, I'm hinting on where the light will be. Okay, I'm using again, like like the individual hairs uh, brush with 32% of transparency. And the secret here is just start subtle. Uh, you can barely see the traces I'm doing right now, but as you can see here, I'm building over those subtle traces. I I keep adding more highlights, more uh, more bright colors, more bright colors over and over again. And again, this these volumes of the of the hair, these waves, I'm I'm just basing myself on the reference pictures, mostly on the top right one. To draw hair, yeah, you have to be really, well, to draw anything, you have to be really observant and, and, and you know, take your time to, to look at something and, and try to try to copy what you can of, of that picture. Okay, I'm making a new layer for the on quotes reflection layer, which is actually like, uh, you know, this. It's kind of where the hair, it's, it's reflecting a little bit of the light. Again, it's really subtle, but it adds a lot of volume to the hair. <laughs> and I make this layer, it's called thin hairs, but I don't think you will be able to see this on, on the video because it's really subtle. I'm using a very thin brush 
and out, I'm just going to throw a few strokes outside the hair but these ones are thinner so it matters it matters <laughs> every everything you can add um, you know there's this saying that you, you don't see it but you might feel it and uh, for me this is what it is it's just a little extra detail I'm making this new layer I will call it I think what it what well, hair integration is just a way of integrate the color of the hair with the color of the face as you can see I'm just adding a red basic shadow but on top of that I will add I will grab the color of the hair that uh, blackish blue and just paint a little bit of that on the face and that will make the hair and the and the face really integrate on a nice very organic way uh, at the end I decided to add some extra highlights just uh, building on top of what I already made just adding some some more details and polishing some more stuff so that's it this is the hair tutorial these are just a few tips I've gathered in the past couple of months while doing all these daily drawings thanks again for following me if you have any questions feel free to ask me anything on the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.